What's up everyone, it's Sean here and I'm back today to review the Under Armour Hover Phantom in the black and red colorway. This is an all new silhouette from Under Armour and I just want to give a huge thank you to Under Armour Canada for hooking me up with this shoe. These retail for a price of 130 US dollars or $160 here in Canada. So as you can probably tell from the name itself, Under Armour Hover is an all new foam technology developed by Under Armour and it's supposed to give you a zero gravity feel. So does this shoe live up to the tagline? Well, let's jump right into the review and I'll let you guys know. So the majority of the upper of the shoe, specifically around this toe box area, this is constructed using this micro thread upper. So as you take a closer look at the toe, you can see that the outside edges has this uniform linear like knit pattern, whereas in the middle portion, this is done in more of a cross hatch fashion. The knit found around the toe box is very stretchy and very flexible. The midfoot of both sides of the shoe is 3D molded and it sort of has like a foam like feel to it and they do have these perforations found throughout increasing the ventilation in the shoe. As the shoe is constructed using this one piece sock like fit, this means that the tongue is connected to the rest of the shoe. The tongue itself is done in the same sort of knit material that was found in the toe box. So this is once again very stretchy and then overlaid on top of this we have the laces which are done in a flat style and a combination of black and red. Found at the very top of the tongue we have this black nylon pull tab and then found wrapping around the ankle area, we have this elastic like knit and this really forms well to the shape of your ankles. Going around the back of the shoe, we have this black TPU heel counter and on the lateral side, we have this Under Armour logo done in red. As you take a look at the inside of the shoe, the insole is stitched into the rest of the shoe, meaning this is not a removable separate insole. This is actually incorporated as a piece of the shoe itself. So Under Armour calls this insole the Speedform 2.0 and within the insole itself, it has these specific areas that have additional foam padding, which makes this insole very, very comfortable and very soft. So these Hover Phantom sits atop this foam midsole that's done in white with this marbling effect of gray found throughout. We have this Hover logo found on the lateral side right below the heel. And then we have this cutaway found on the lateral side that starts from the middle of the shoe and extends all the way to the back, exposing the Hover foam found within. So the white foam that you see on the exterior is simply more like a carrier foam and it's housing this Hover foam that's found on the inside. So these hits of red that you can see on both the lateral side and on the back heel, this is what Under Armour calls their compression mesh energy web. So basically what this does is it contains the hover foam. This webbing gives you that energy return and it bounces you back upon impact. Take a look at the bottom, you can see that the majority of the outsole is covered in this black rubber. It features this very aggressive knobbed texture that really increases the traction on this shoe. Found running down the center, we have this exposed energy web down in red. And then at the very bottom of the heel, we have this circular Under Armour logo. In terms of sizing, so these do fit pretty true to size. So I typically wear between a size 10 and a 10 and a half in most of my sneakers. Under Armour Canada sent this to me in a 10 and a half and they fit me perfectly. Compare the sizing on this to something like the Ultra Boost Uncaged, they fit kind of similar. So this one may be a little bit more loose, but overall I went with a 10 and a half for both shoes. Comfort wise, so this is where this shoe really surprised me and where this shoe really, really shines. So a lot of people in the sneaker community say that the Ultra Boost is the most comfortable shoe on the market. I can't really disagree, it is very, very comfortable, but to give you my completely honest opinion, this Under Armour Hover Phantom actually rivals the Ultra Boost. There's a lot of similarities between the comfort on these two shoes. They both have a very sock-like knitted upper, and this Hover Foam shares a lot of similar characteristics to that of Boost. Probably because of the combination of this thickness of this midsole and this very plush insole, Together, this makes this shoe feel even softer than an Ultra Boost, but I do have to say that you do lose a bit of that ground feel that the Ultra Boost has over this. Though I do have to tell you guys that my opinion on the cushioning on this was formed through using this in the gym as opposed to running with these outside. So if you guys have used this on an outdoor setting, definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the cushioning on these Hover Phantoms. So now let me lace up these shoes and show you guys how these look on feet.
Overall, I think that Under Armour has done a really, really good job on this shoe. As I mentioned before, the cushioning on these is exceptional, the fit feels perfect, and overall I think this is a step in the right direction for Under Armour running. So be sure to give me that thumbs up if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and give me a follow on my Instagram as well at SGO8. You can also check out my website, which is now up at seango.ca. Before I sign off, just want to give one final thank you to Under Armour Canada for hooking me up with these amazing shoes, and until next time, I'll see you guys in my next review.